and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Alright, so in between episodes I basically just got everyone out of jail. Not much else. I did also change Marche back into a blue mage temporarily for a very specific reason we'll get into later. But yeah, for now let's just get into this mission. This next mission is a very long one, so hopefully we can fit it all in one episode. If not, I can just split it in two. But yeah, it triggers immediately when you go to the new town we unlocked. But yeah, I think... <laughs> I think we might have caused some troubles for the local residents. Even though we've never actually been to this town before. Also, yeah. I guess that kind of makes sense. Still, that's kind of a terrible idea to have just... Arrest someone who's the wrong race. Also, yeah, this still happens even though... Even if uh, Mont Blanc is dead. So yeah, even if he died in a yog, they would still arrest Moogles. Then again, we do have like, what, three Moogles in the party right now? Also, yeah, Marche is still not very good at keeping a low profile. Alright, but yeah, even though we kind of already turned ourselves in, uh, they still want to fight for some reason, which I'm okay with. Anyways. So what's illegal today? Time, magic, and silence. I think I checked that before the battle. Either way, we don't have to worry about them. Alright, so let's get our party out. Oh, actually, wait, does... No, I don't think either of my bonga have 10 JP. That's a shame. I was kind of hoping just to finish this off really quickly with a good summon. Oh, well. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. We can only bring five people here. Okay, who do we want to... Who needs to sit out this one? Do I need a he... Now, uh... You know what? No, you can sit this one out. I kind of want summons for this one. Just because there are a lot of enemies and having some good AoE damage would be good. Also, you're still learning, right? Yeah, you're still learning, Kieran. All right. And we should be fine in terms of the laws. We don't have anything that silences and or uh, uses time magic. Does he? Oh, no, I guess we did meet that one time we were helping, like, a uh, escaped criminal. But, yep, let's do this. Just gotta take out all enemies. But, like I said, there are a lot of enemies in this battle, surprisingly. Even though there are only five of us. Kind of a weird, like, balance that way. But, oh, well. I do like this map, though, in terms of how it looks. It's like a little forest town area. I think this is the Viara village. Yeah, we've already seen all the other races, like, towns. This is their village. Town. Whatever. It is a shame we don't get to see more of the towns. Also, I don't think anyone here has anything super valuable to steal. I did make sure to put steel on Marche, though, just in case we... Ooh, actually, that's pretty good. Just in case we run to someone who has something really good to steal. I really wish we could steal weapons, but... Whoops. I don't think we run into the knife that gives us that ability yet. And I didn't feel like grinding a ton of, like, dispatch missions to get it. But yeah, might as well just keep stealing some armor then. I'll take that. Also, I did put the thief... Uh, I think they're called thief gloves on uh, Marche, just so he has a higher chance of stealing. I think... Uh, how much damage is that going to do? Eh, that's not bad. But yeah, I think all their, the enemies, though, have one big disadvantage. They're all kind of slow. Like, this is all, like, the super slow classes. Paladins are slow. Templars are pretty slow. Mog Knights are slow. And Gunners are slow. Actually, yeah, every single one of these classes or jobs are actually the really slow ones. I'm okay with this. That just means more turns for me. Also, yeah, speaking of Totoma, what's something to Totoma? Unfortunately, this one won't do as much damage as the Bongo one, just because, honestly, Monthlock's stats are the best for summoning. I forget if it scales off magic or physical attack. 
I think it's magic. Either way, he's honestly not that great at either, so... Still not bad. Oh, actually, that did more damage than I thought it would. I didn't expect it to do, like, around 60. And it softened everyone up for us to just go around and smack people until they're down. Yeah, about half everyone, everyone's HP. And I don't think the Sage up there can heal. That Gunner is going to be annoying, though, especially if he knows Charm Shot. I don't think he does. Also, yeah, despite the fact that the judges are, like, the law around here, they can't actually arrest us unless we break one of their very specific laws. Like, we're a wanted criminal. You'd think they'll just try to at least help? Nope. They are literally powerless to do anything. Not exactly the best in terms of your uh, law enforcement, but whatever. Then again, I guess laws in this world just don't act like the same as uh, we do. As ours do. I can talk, I swear. Also, this might hurt or it might miss. It's probably gonna miss. Nope, it did not miss. Okay, we should probably heal him. But yeah, that's like one of the traditional hits really hard but has really, really bad accuracy moves. Ooh, this might actually be bad. I mean, we don't need Marshade. No, never mind. We don't technically need him to be alive, but it would really help because I do want to keep stealing. Wait. Isn't time magic illegal? Hold on. Did I misread the law? No, time magic is illegal. What the heck? Oh, or was that his uh, Templar ability? I, okay, no, it's sacred tech. Yeah, I forgot that's kind of shared between the two jobs. Okay. That sucks, but fine. I guess that's one way around the whole breaking the law thing. Anyways, I want to get rid of this. Actually, wait, if I move down one... No, not that way. Move down one more. No, I can't hit both of them. I can hit both these two, though. But yeah, I do kind of want Marche to keep living just so I can keep stealing armor. Unfortunately, we still don't have the next tier of equipment unlocked. It is actually based on the number of territories you own. I think I'm like one short of the next tier. Yeah, he's actually pretty healthy. Blue mages are surprisingly tanky. Ooh, some more... Ah, oh, that armor is also pretty good. I don't care about the helmet. I have plenty of opal helms. How about you? Judo uniform? Nah, I think we can buy that. Here, let's steal that armor real quick. I think that might be the last thing we steal, though. After this, I'm just going to concentrate on trying to get everyone, uh, basically down. Just so we can move on to the next part. Also, I do want to take care of that Mog Knight. The one thing that Mog Knights have against them is that they're slow. So having a hasted one might actually be a problem. Actually, does Marche really need... He's at 70 HP. He can live. Yeah, he'll be fine. Let's do this instead. Actually, how much damage is that going to do? Eh. Would a punch be better? Yeah, a bit. Might as well do some damage instead. But yeah, I trust in Marche. He won't die, hopefully. Please don't die. Oh, actually, wait. I do have a Sonic Boom. I don't think it'll be enough to kill, but hey, damage is damage. Especially if it misses. Ooh. Wow, that guy is actually surprisingly squishy for a Mog Knight. So squishy, in fact, I think I'm just going to take care of him right away. But yeah, if I had... Oh, that miss. Darn it, 75% chance, my butt. But yeah, if I had access to another Totoma, I would just immediately win the battle without moving from the, from the uh, starting line. Like, two, to two Totomas in a row is usually enough to beat most story battles. I'm gonna be honest, though, that's pretty much how I played this game as a kid when I first played it. Later on, it's not as powerful because 
enemies start becoming a lot tankier, but early on, yeah, that's pretty much how we can beat most battles. Also, that hurt- oh wait, no, that's right, I stole his armor. I was gonna say, that did a surprising amount of damage. Yeah, I forgot. I stole the shirt right off his back. It's fine. That's nah, annoying. That's only 16. Yeah, it's only Mogade. It's only 16 uh, points of healing. Not enough to actually take him out of critical. Oh god. Please miss. Remember when I said Marche would be fine? I was right. He is gonna be fine. I do want to take care of that stage before it does something stupid. Also, that is a lot of MP. Wait. You don't have HP to MP, right? I don't think you do. Still, like I said, I do want to take care of him because he can do this. Oh, hey. Guess what time it is. Time to see if I can find the one square that I'll hit. Okay. You know what? It's worth it. If she can take out three enemies at the cost of hurting one of my allies, it's completely worth it. Well, two for three isn't bad. I do want to. I do hope my soldier doesn't die, though. He is still my hardest hitter in the entire party. Uh. Yeah, let's just start working our way towards the sage. We'll let everyone down there take care of the rest of the an er, animals. Take care of the rest of the enemies. Also, yeah, since he is still at critical HP, his AI still prior prioritizes healing over everything else. Even if his healing sucks. Although I think he's out of range of being killed by a summon now. Can I just hit you? Not quite. Does an air render do more damage? It does. But yeah, regarding my summoner, I think eventually we might just stop equipping her with weapons altogether. And just start giving her, like, really good armor and accessories. Because you don't actually need a weapon in this game, surprisingly. Especially spellcasters. They actually, late game, don't really need weapons at all. Anyways, you're probably not going to survive another turn, but hey, let's try to get some damage out before you go. Oh, nice. I didn't expect that to actually hit. Yeah, I think we've got this. There's only two enemies left, and one of them is squishy. The other one's a paladin who I already stole his armor, so he's also pretty squishy. Actually, wait. Let's see if we can get Disable down on you. Yeah, I'm starting to think maybe I should just put Mont Blanc back into Gunner for a while. Yeah, we're good. We've won. You can't do anything. Yeah, I think he's given up. He literally just turned his back to us. Alright. Let's go take care of him. Like this. Actually, do we have enough damage to take care of him? Yeah, we have enough damage. Awesome, that went a lot smoother than I thought it would. I kind of forgot just how slow all the enemies on this map were. But yeah, despite all that, we still got arrested because that was kind of the entire point of Marche coming out about this. You guys didn't have to get everyone beat up to do this. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, right. I think we have like 20 members, so that might take a while. And I think some of them are actually out on a mission. All right, fine. Guess we're all going to jail. Also, yeah, I guess at this point, there's no point in hiding it. We have destroyed three out of five. Also, that would have been another way to identify us. We did kind of summon a Totoma in the last battle. That should have been a pretty clear sign that we had beaten it. I mean, yeah, he's not wrong. Also, yeah, we Marche didn't really explore other possibilities. He just kind of latched onto the whole destroying all the crystals thing and just ran with it. I mean, he's good at it, so... But no, Marche is very dedicated to his task. Almost a bit too dedicated, to be honest. Also, that seems familiar. But yeah, uh, who's right for a Totoma fight? Like I said, this mission is a bit on the longer side. But yep, it's just like the Ultima battle. We just need to destroy all the fruit around here and we win. Only this time, we have to do the solo as Marche. We can't have any other party members with us. Would you? It would really help if you just stood there. But nope. We got ourselves an actual battle here. So yeah, it's Marche on low. No one else comes to the park. We don't even get a prep phase. Which is why I did change him over to uh, Blue Mage for one specific reason. Maybe we can actually see at this battle. I don't know, at this point, this does seem like its own actual reality, so... 
maybe, yeah, it might be easier just to try to convince Mute that just to change the world back. Oops. Alright, but yep, it's us against Babis. Fortunately, the Datoma itself doesn't do anything except sit around and, uh... No, that's pretty much all it does, just sits around. But yeah, this is his strategy basically throughout the entire battle. He's just gonna spam Demi on us until we get low enough that he can try to, to uh, finish us off with, like, an explosion. But like I said, gravity spells are annoying, but they can't kill. He needs to use an actual attack to finish us off. But yeah, Sid won't do anything. He's a judge in this battle. He's not allowed to do anything. Also, I think the law- wait, let me just double check. The laws did stay the same, right? They should have. Yeah, they're still the same. Actually, let me see if I can do something real quick. Uh, what law cards do I have? No, I can't. I have a bunch of anti-laws, but none of these are really- No, none of these are gonna help me. Okay. Never mind. Let's just fight. Alright, first things first. Give me your armor. Bambus actually has some pretty rare equipment on him, so I want to grab it as soon as possible. Also, another way to really just break this battle is to give Marche, uh, what is it, HP to MP. That basically makes him unkillable. Like, Bambus literally cannot do anything against that. Also, yeah, this is the reason that I changed him over to Blue Mage. He likes to spam Explode as along with, like, Demi. Here's the thing, though. Blue Mages can equip the Blaze Robe. And the Blaze Robe makes you immune to fire damage. So yeah, uh, Babis can't actually kill us. Well, he could technically. Oh yeah, he does no counter. How much damage does he do, though? He does... Zero. Okay, yeah, no, we're good. Oh no, we are good. I just remembered. I think his rod is fire elemental. He literally cannot hurt us enough to kill us. That's actually kind of hilarious. I completely forgot that his fire, his rod was also fire elemental. He is going to spam Demi over and over again, but... Like I said, Demi does a lot of damage, but it doesn't kill. It can never kill. So we're probably going to end up with like 1 HP at the end of the battle. Actually, yeah, let me just double check something. I would love to steal his mace, but unfortunately we don't know steel weapon. Yep, it's fire elemental. He can't do anything. Man, this just seems mean now. I do still want to take him out just for the experience and the JP. Because, yeah, even though what we're doing is pretty much the definition of world destroying illegal, we do still get JP for beating up enemies. But yep, Sid's not going to do anything. He's just going to sit there for a while. Watching as, uh, Babis literally cannot hurt this boy. I think you can- I don't think the same effect happens if you- what, uh, what is it? If you make fire magic illegal. Because, yeah, bosses tend to kind of just ignore laws sometimes. Especially if they can't get arrested like Babis here. Actually, wait. He doesn't have the icon on him. Technically, he is not a boss enemy, then. Does that mean he can get arrested? I've never tried it before. I kind of want to see if there's... I want to see if there's a way to get him arrested at some point. Because, yeah, normally when they have that little, like, metal icon on them, that means they can't go to jail. But he doesn't have that. At least I don't think he has it. Poor Sid. He can't do anything about this. Yeah, he doesn't have the boss icon on him. That's kind of amazing. Alright, but yeah, another two more attacks and he should be down. And then we're free to just go around beat up all the fruit. Because like I said, the fruit doesn't do anything throughout the entire battle. It just sits there. But yeah, 
whenever you make a party member, make sure they don't rely a, uh, solely on a single element. I remember finding this trick, like, the first time I played this game, too. I think I accidentally had some kind of fire equipment on Marche. I think it was a shield, actually, that made him immune to fire, and I just realized I couldn't die. Okay, we should probably get that hit at some point. We're just kind of standing here both severely injured. Is he going to cast Demi again? No, just going to keep trying to explode us. I swear I'll beat him up eventually. Also, yeah, I think the reason that they don't let you have any party members is A, story reasons, and B, since the Satoma doesn't do anything, uh, a single summon of the Bonga Tatoma would probably just end this battle immediately. There we go, finally. Took long enough. I really wish we could have stolen his wand, but like I said, we don't have any, uh, the ability to steal weapons yet. Alright. Alright, so yeah, Sid just gets to sit there and watch us beat up fruit for a while. We can one-shot every single one of these two, and I don't think they can... I don't think our attacks can miss. Also, yes, we do get JP for every single one of them. We are getting rewarded for breaking the law right now. Which I'm okay with. Actually, you know what would also be really good in this battle? If we had made Marche like an illusionist. Just so that he could just stand at the start and just spam spells until everything is dead. Because, yeah, illusionist can't, is available to humans. But, eh... Uh, Illusionist in general just isn't a very good class, just because of its absurdly high uh, MP cost. Summons are better overall. Actually, summons are just straight up better. They actually do good damage. And they can heal and protect. Summons are just really good. Actually, is this going to one-shot it? No, it actually survived a turn. I think that one is the boss fruit. It is the one still attra to attach to the main tree. That or we just rolled really badly. Also, if we really wanted to, we could also just do really, really little damage to these things and just slowly grind levels for uh, Marche. But no, I just want to end this battle quickly. Hi, Sid. Don't mind me. Alright, how many fruit are left? Three? Three more. It's a shame I didn't have a better, uh, what is it? Scimitar. Actually, they're called savers in this game. I did have to run around on the, on the world map for a bit before this battle, though, just because there was one law that made sabers illegal, and we really couldn't have that for Marche here. We had to make sure that we had laws that basically made so that uh, Marche could actually do something in this battle. Alright, two more fruit. Don't mind me. Still surprised he hasn't gained a level yet. Actually, I think he's like 10 away. Yep, this should give him another level. Nice. This one is also surprisingly tanky. Whoops. Alright, time to get our fourth crystal broken. Yeah, this Atoma wasn't exactly the strongest. They did say it was like feeding all its energy to the crystal, which might be due to the fact that we destroyed three already. So I guess it had to compensate somehow. Also, yeah, it's kind of a good thing we got arrested. We would have never found this thing, because if Marche ever goes to jail, it's just game over. Fortunately, the story took us here instead. All right, that's four crystals down, one to go.
But yeah, I remember that scene back at the beginning, when we first met, uh, Sid and Mute. I think we just broke the law. But yeah, and like Sid, he has a pretty good character arc. But yeah, as the uh, Judge Master, he is in charge of all the judges. And now I guess they're going to be acting independently of the palace. Now we don't have to worry about the judges trying to arrest us every time they see us anymore. But with that, we're free to go. And we got our fourth uh, Totoma. We got Exodus. It works the same as Ultima, so... Probably not gonna be using that much. Also, who just paid us? Wait, who paid us for that? Well, whatever. We uh managed to break the law system. We also got 19,000 gil from it. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's free money. We're also pretty, getting pretty good as a clan. I, um... Nah, I don't want either of those. Alright, and with that, I think we'll end the episode here then. So, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, we're gonna go pick up some new missions now that we're... Well, we're not home free. The palace is still kind of after us, but we don't have to worry about the judges anymore. So, till then, 